Once you set up the router, right click network icon. Then select, open network and sharing center. Click local area connection. Click details. Remember or take note the default gateway. After copying, close all Windows application and open any internet browser. In the address bar, type the default gateway that you copied earlier. In Setup Wizard, click Next button. In Operation Mode, select Gateway. Click Next button. In WAN Access Type, select Static IP. In IP Address Menu, type 192.168.2. Dot one three zero. In default gateway menu, type one nine two dot one six eight dot two dot one. In DNS menu, type one nine two dot one six eight dot two dot one. Then click finished. Please wait, while your router is rebooting. Now, let's configure your wireless connection. Click Wireless tab. Click Basic Settings. In Mode menu, select AP. In SSID menu, you may customize your SSID in any form, let's try CDR King. In channel number menu, select 11. Click apply changes. Click reboot now. Please wait, while your router is rebooting. For security settings, click Security. In Encryption menu, you have four options to select, let's try WPA2. Select AES. In pre-shared key format, select Passphrase. In pre-shared key menu, you can customize your password. Click Apply Changes. Click Reboot Now. Please wait, while your router is rebooting. To check if your router is configured, click Management tab. Click Status. Your static IP and wireless connection are now configured. Now, let's try if you have Internet connection. Go to the address bar of your internet browser, and type any website.
Once you see a homepage of a website, you are now connected to the internet.